2017 had a huge R&D system and during the process of developing that we took on a lot of advice from the community who were playing the game for us early and there were certain things that we thought would be really good to bring into 2018. So probably first and foremost, we wanted more players to experience more of the R&D system to actually be able to progress their development at a quicker rate. So we've made significant changes to the pricing structure. We've also changed the way that we present it to the player so there's now a fog of war around it. So that you don't quite understand where your development's going, you don't know where the big wins are going to be. This year we've added ERS to the cars, and that's another area of the car that the player can also look to upgrade. And with multiple components building an ERS system in a Formula One car, again, it adds even more variation to the things that the player must consider. To any Formula One fan, it's very clear which teams have got strengths and weaknesses in which areas. And that's something that we showcase quite heavily in the vehicle handling in the game. And we wanted to do something similar with the R&D tree this year. So each team now has a bespoke R&D tree, which focuses on the areas that those teams may be lacking just a little bit. Something that we've brought in this year is, it's something that's very inspired by what happens in the sport. And that's a rule change, regularly in Formula One, so every sort of four or five years, there's a significant rule change and the teams have to readdress how they build their cars and change things quite significantly. And that's something we wanted the player to experience with obviously the key gameplay mechanic from that being, you start the next season, first race at Melbourne, you don't know where the other teams are gonna be. And that's amazing to see that reset in the performance. And the way this will work in the game will be, part way through the season, there'll be a point where we will determine whether there's going to be a rule change. Your R&D guy will speak to you about it, and at this point, you need to start determining which areas of the development you want to conserve. Listen up, everyone. They've announced the technical regulations are changing for next season. There's a risk a lot of our hard work would be undone if we're not careful. I may have spent a fortune on my wings, and I think next season, I'm worried that that reset might impact on my wings. So rather than losing all of that hard work, I can start spending credits on protecting the work we've done. So it's essentially future-proofing upgrades that you've made for the following season. The AI have to work in exactly the same way. So each of the teams will be going through exactly the same thought process as the player. Do I spend money on upgrading the car as quickly as possible? Do I look at saving some credits just in case there's a rule reset and I want to conserve my R&D? And that's why every season we'll see a huge change in the orders. We were only testing this the other day to see a team that was at the top start the next season mid-table. And it's really cool to be able to see that. It makes every season unique and it really does drive you to want to do season after season.